Human rights matter, and they matter for every person in the world. I am proud in this parliament over the 10 years I've been here to be speaking up for the human rights of people across the world, whether it's the Philippines, whether it's Tibet, whether it's West Papua, whether it's Palestine, whether it's, and here in Australia. The action I took in the House today was deliberate and it was powerful. And I did it on behalf of every Filipino person whose human rights have been abused by the government of President Marcos and the government of President Duterte before him. I learnt and I heard firsthand about what is going on in the Philippines, where I learnt about the extrajudicial killings, where people on trumped-up charges are red-tagged and then they are hunted down and they are killed, where human rights lawyers are shot at point-blank range as they are driving through the streets where workers, because they have the temerity to engage in fighting for their rights, are killed, where environmental defenders, because they have the temerity to be fighting for justice for their community, fighting for their rivers not to be polluted, fighting for their lands not to be taken from them, they also are killed. I am struck by I'm having a sense of motion moved against me for abusing parliamentary rights, when human rights did not rate a mention, when both the Prime Minister and the Leader of the Opposition in their speeches today did not mention human rights at all. They are completely whitewashing, sycophantic towards the President. Human rights matter, and they matter for every person in the world. I am proud in this parliament over the 10 years I've been here to be speaking up for the human rights of people across the world, whether it's the Philippines, whether it's Tibet, whether it's West Papua, whether it's Palestine, whether it's, and here in Australia. And I will continue to do so, and I will take every opportunity open to me in this place to be speaking up for human rights, speaking up for people who deserve to have the right to live a peaceful life, to be able to have, to be, have their rights respected.